Hello folks and welcome back to MTG AI Tournaments. Today we're going to be doing our very first commentary with these AI versus AI matches for the Pioneer Tournament Season 1. So we're going to get into it. We have Gruel Aggro vs. Jeskai Tokens. The gameplay is going to be a little bit slower. I'm going to be doing it step by step. So um, hopefully my commentary is adequate. And we need the hands, of course. And I'll hopefully provide useful commentary. So it looks like turn one is going to the Gruul aggro deck. They have an, um, they look like they have a Llanowar Elves turn one, which is good. Passing the turn over to Jeskai Tokens. It's like they're doing a kind of a, to well, a token deck with non creature spells. Plays a plane and, and pass. Play another Carplusion Forest. Get in for one with the with the Llanowar Elves. I would have played a creature, but Okay. Bone Crusher Giant or something, I think, right? Yep. Steam Vents deck, interestingly enough, doesn't really like to play untapped um, duels, so that's just, you know, a thing there. Questing Beast is going to get in there for 4 damage, putting down the Jeskai Tokens deck to 15. He's going to opt and. It looks like a Hollow Fountain tapped, and that's about the turn. It looks like the Gruel Adder deck is way way ahead right now, putting them down to eight. And we got a whole playset of Carpalus and Forest out. Gonna get our Bone Crusher Giant. That will be lethal next turn if they don't do anything. And it looks like they haven't done enough. Uh, taking out the Land of War Elves isn't really gonna do anything. I would have taken out the Questing Beast or something. Um, that works, yes. And he's going to untap with the Carpalusian Forest, and it's going to go straight to combat, and it's going to end the game right there. Lethal damage for the Gruel Aggro deck. And now, we're moving on to the next match. We're going to have Gruel Aggro. Well, it's the same deck. <laughs> I don't know why I said the announce the decks again. And it looks like Jessica Tokens took a mulligan here. And it looks like they're going to play a Spire Buff Canal and pass the turn. Over to Gruel Aggro, they're going to play a Mountain and pass. Jeskai Tokens is going to play a Hollow Fountain tapped. I would have played it untapped and played a Young Firemancer, but that's just me. <laughs> Goes to the Gruel Aggro deck, plays the Gruel Colors and Basics, and then plays a... The... What was that card? A Love Struck Beast. Now, I'm not that familiar with the newer stuff. Well, you could say newer... Uh, I kind of got out of the game from Ravnica Allegiance, but more like Guilds of Ravnica. But um, yeah, so some of these cards I won't know that most people do. So I just, you know, I know them, but I don't, you know, know them by heart, I guess you could say. So anyways, he plays, uh, he plays the adventure on the Love Stroke Beast to give it a human, human token, but he's going to, this guy Tokens is going to take out that token. And here's our young Pyromancer, passing the turn over to... Gruel Aggro, who's going to go and play, I'm guessing this Reckless Storm Stupor, right? What's this? Yeah. I'm guessing this is what's going to be played. Yep. Turns today. I've got a little animation in the background. Turns it today. Uh, young Pyromancer. And plays a Monastery Mentor. Now that could get ugly if it's not taken care of. Here's a Questing Beast. And it looks like we're going to be getting in for a lot of damage here. There's no blockers. So hopefully there isn't. Because that would <laughs> really slow down the Jeskai Tokens deck. But it looks like they're going to be creating some tokens. A lot of prowess triggers here. Wow. Okay, yeah. To um, tokens everywhere. Again, it is a Jeskai Tokens deck. I wouldn't be surprised if he attacks with the Monastery Mentor. Yes. And I doubt there's going to be a, a block. Consider considering the AI usually really doesn't really trade. That well, I mean, sometimes actually that's not true. Sometimes they do trade well, um, but they're not going to go and you know questing beast to that. So usually they start blocking like aggressively, like like uh, defensively, really defensively around about five life is when they start getting really defensive. You'll see when the when the thing goes red, that's kind of when they they're like, okay, we're going to die. We need to do everything we can to not die, basically. They're going to take all of that. I would have chumped with the elementals, but 
what oh, actually that's not true because it can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less so he's down at six and we're gonna see what happens here i'm guessing there's gonna be a consider considered um or a treasure cruise that could that could happen as well and it looks like we got a lot of tokens a lot of tokens a lot of tokens so that three times because treasure cruise draws three cards and no, i don't know <laughs> um Anyways, they draw the card, and it looks like we got a Bone Crusher Giant that's going to kill something. Did he adventure it? I don't know. I might have missed that one. Um, oh, he, he, he hit the player, so makes a little bit more sense. Now, it looks like, actually, this is lethal because everything else on his board has power 2 and less. So, looks like the Gruel Aggler deck is going to take out the Jessica Token set for the... For their round now thank you for watching uh i know my my commentary is a little stuttery a little bit you know not professional but it'll improve over time just you know keep watching our channel checking out our videos spread the word subscribe so people can experience our channel and i'll see you guys next time